hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will uh, learn how we can select the shaft diameter with the help of a bearing number for example you are designing a machine for your client where your client has uh, given you the standard component list and in that list you have the bearing number and now how you can select the shaft diameter with the help of a bearing number that we will learn in this lecture so for example you have a spherical roller bearing in the bought out list and now how you can decide the shaft diameter for example here we are gain, uh, taking the example of a spherical roller bearing which is a 22213 ek ek is stand for the spherical roller bearing and we are going to use the skf which is the one of the major supplier for the bearing around the globe so we have the bearing number and now if we multiply with 5 with last two digit of a number then we will get the bore diameter so here is the last two digit number is a 13 if we multiplied by 5 then we will get the 65 so here is the bearing ID is a 65 so we have got the 65 this doesn't mean that we create a shaft of a shift 65 mm and mount this bearing if we mount our bearing directly to the shaft without use of a sleeves then it will downgrade the life of a bearing so we are going to use the sleeves so if we go to the catalog page here then you will find here the compatible products so compatible products here recommended products with the bearing so recommended products with the bearing is a sleeve so we have the multiple type of a sleeves but we are going to use the sleeve AS313G so if we open the sleeves so we can find it here its bore size is a 60 this means that uh, we require the diameter 60 shaft so now if we move to the free cat so here is a shaft we have found out the diameter first we have multiply last two digit of a bearing with a 5 so we have got the bearing ID and we cannot mount bearing directly on the sleeves uh, we cannot mount the bearing directly on the shaft so we are going to use the sleeves so we have identified the recommended sleeves and we have found out the diameter internal diameter of the sleeve which is a 60 that means that we require 60 mm diameter of a shaft to mount this bearing so this is how we have find out the shaft diameter with the help of a bearing now let's uh, take some similar example so here we have a uh, took the example of a 2213 now let's take example of a 22214 and if we multiply it by 5 then we will get the bore diameter 70 which is here which is for the spherical roller bearing EK and if we go with the next bearing number 22215 and if we multiply 5 which is a 75 which we can find out here but sleeve thickness is a varies from bearing number to bearing number but in our case 22213 the sleeve thickness is a 5 mm which means that uh, if we go here so 5 mm means 2.5 upper and 2.5 lower so we have find out the bore size of a uh, this sleeve which is a 60 and here is our shaft dia 60 now let's assemble it so i will select this one and uh, our shaft diameter and uh, constraint now i will select this face and this face uh, solver issue let's uh, now we will assemble it so i will select this 
internal face and my shaft outer face accept now I will select this face and this face and I will coincident it accept and now how to mount this bearing on this sleeve for this we will uh, refer here on uh, our sleeve so we can see here here is a thread so we will mount it to the this face and it will be little bit inside which you can find the diameter here so this is the 42 and uh, B2 is 45 so this is the 3 mm so first we will uh, make this axial constraint accept now I will select this face and this face and here I will give the 3 mm let me delete this constraint now I will uh, select my bearing click on the transform move it to the and now I will select this face and this face minus 3 and I will accept it and you can see here the threaded portion is here so this is how we can mount our bearing in fact this is uh, just uh, uh, for the explanation in fact we have required here the uh, uh, clip to hold the bearing so that it does not come the outside but we will cover this in uh, some other lecture when I will uh, take the practical example of a circlip what are the circlip and how they are used to hold the bearing and we will also learn the external and internal type of a circlip so this is all about this uh, tutorial how to uh, decide the shaft diameter with the help of a bearing number I hope you you have liked this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share this video thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time